The new updated Eyewitness News, your weather authority app from your app store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. It is 1132 as we roll into this late morning. We're going to head into the afternoon and watch the temperature drop, not rise. I mean, we were at 80s and 90s uh, this time last week, and now we're struggling to stay in the 50s. I mean, it's like we, we missed spring on the way up uh, from winter into summer, and now we're missing fall, it looks like, on the way down. Because these 50s for highs and these 30s for lows, we're going to be in the 30s tonight. I mean, that's settled in for the week, at least, even into next week. I mean, we might hit 60 a couple of days, but that's about it. Look at that pretty good wind, too, from the north, kicking that steam or the smoke from the OMU stacks there at, off in the distance in Owensboro to the south. And we're going to be seeing a 10 to 15 mile per hour wind from the northwest here. This is our King's Cam at the Hampton Inn looking out toward the Blue Bridge in the mighty Ohio. And a gray sky also in Madisonville. It's our Baptist Health Tower Cam looking to the south there. So still getting the rain in Madisonville. We're going to be seeing some rain uh, mainly across western Kentucky over the next couple of hours. But it should be tapering off uh, by mid-afternoon for most all of us. Uh, 51 degrees right now. The temperatures dropped. We were at 55 at daybreak. And we've seen that drop four degrees, and I think we're going to slowly slide. We're kind of holding our own in the low 50s here, but I think we're going to slowly drop into the upper 40s before this day is done. Look at that wind, too, making it feel like the 40s with a west-northwest wind at 12 miles an hour. 43 degrees now in Fairfield, 44 in Flora as that colder air starts to work its way in from the northwest. Now, it's like late November out there, early December. Uh, 51 degrees Henderson, 51 Princeton, 52 Jasper, a little bit warmer as you work your way east into the southeast. It was 60 degrees this morning at daybreak in Beaver Dam. Now it's down to 54, and that's the warm spot. All right, I want to give a big shout out. Today is National Pug Day. So if you have a pug as a pet, send it my way, and I'll show it off, at least on our sister station on, uh, at noon, Channel 7. This is Andy the Pug right here, sent in by Michael Moberly, cute dog right there. Happy Pug Day to everybody who has a pug. And as we take a look at this, now, more signs from winter. Uh, this is Barbara Sneed sending this woolly worm in. Some people have been saying that the woolly worms were light brown. Well, the woolly worms must be changing their mind. That is about as dark as they get, which means a long, cold winter from start to finish. A little bit of brown in there, actually. And then check this out. Last week... Uh, I had somebody send me a persimmon seed, cut it open, it was a knife, okay? And it's not easy to cut those open, <laughs> let me tell you. Well, Kelly Hamilton cut open more than one, cut open a bunch of them, and she said, spoons for every one. That means we're shoveling snow. Although, look, that looks a little knife-like right there. So maybe, uh, that's more spoon-like right there. So maybe uh, we're uh, going to be shoveling snow and coal. So nothing mild, no forks in the bunch. That would be a, a mild winter if you cut it open. I've seen forks before. Uh, I've seen them all before. They're spoons, according to Kelly. All right, we've got a frost advisory out. <laughs> I mean, you, get a, you get a frost advisory out, you know, before really the middle of October. Right, well, I guess we're in the middle right now. Then, you know, maybe it is going to be a long, cold winter. Uh, Dubois County, it begins at 3 a.m., lasts until 9 a.m. Eastern time. Also includes Clay, Richland, Lawrence, Knox, Davies, and Martin counties to the north. So north of 64, especially as those clouds break up. We're also banking on the wind tapering off enough because that, that'll basically inhibit frost formation, but I think it will. I think the wind and the clouds are going to break up enough uh, for us to see that. We've got some rain still hanging around, especially down to the south and western Kentucky. And as we roll this, you can see it's coming up from the southwest. And it's a pretty good fetch. Let's go ahead and show you the bigger picture across the region. I mean, Nashville's been inundated with rain. We've got more on the way. A lot of this, though, is going to start to taper off and shift a little bit more to the south and to the east. And really not a whole lot north of the river right now. But we're going to be seeing a little mist and drizzle where we aren't seeing returns uh, currently, and of course, future trackers indicating the heavier rain closer to the Kentucky-Tennessee border. Still a lot of clouds hanging around, but by 4 o'clock, really, for most all of us, the rain has come to an end. Maybe a few drops down to the southeast, and that's about the size of it. Still some rain, though, running around Bowling Green and Nashville if you're traveling there early evening. Now, overnight, here come the clouds breaking up. And again, I think we'll have enough cloud breakage up to the north and enough wind tapering off to the north that we could see a little bit of frost out there. And then as we head into our Tuesday, a mix of clouds and sunshine, although those clouds are going to be more stubborn down in western Kentucky uh, tomorrow, but at least it's going to be dry tomorrow. Rainfall amounts could be seen better than a quarter of an inch from here on out down to the south. For most of us, though, I mean, maybe a tenth of an inch, if that. Uh, plenty of clouds this afternoon, rain coming to an end, and breezy and chilly for all of us as the temperatures drop down into the 40s. They don't rise this afternoon, 
with a northwest wind at around 10 to 15 miles an hour, making it feel chillier than that. Downright cold tonight, mid-30s, and we are going to be seeing a little bit of frost. It looks like north of 64. At least we get some sunshine tomorrow. More sun on Wednesday and Thursday before another round of rain and another chilly rain moves in on Friday. So, yeah, it looks like this uh, late fall, early winter kind of weather sticking around. Well, Garden Guy Charlie Stocker is here. He's ready to take your calls and tell you about those big pumpkins, too. 270-827-7961, the number to call. Give Charlie one right now.